Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Harbinger again. I said this in my last video. I know my name used to be Net One Goat, but I'm tired of it. Can't do it. I'm going to use the name that I've been going by on TikTok, where I have the biggest following, and hopefully that following will come over here and share this stuff with your boy. Just all this love and trying to build a community. So join the family. I mean, let's be honest. But right now, we're going to get into this reaction video. I got Ruby Volume 8, Episode 11, titled Risk, I believe. And last time we left off, um team ruby reunited uh they have emerald in custody but she's kind of like helping i guess they're gonna find a way to help um ironwood is still losing his mind threatening the lives of mantle uh oscar the aftermath of oscar's uh magic that was in episode eight or nine that literally wiped out a significant portion of all the grim that were flooding into atlas um, Ironwood knows about uh, Winter sparing Yang, Ren, and everybody. I want to see how the rest of this season plays out. I really do. Because there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be answered. And there's a lot of people that I want to either die or be locked up somewhere or just get what's coming to him because ironwood he's on my hit list i cannot stand this man right now but we're going to start this reaction video make sure to like comment, subscribe and share this with your friends definitely make sure that if you're from my tiktok if you're from anywhere like that stick around your boy is trying to build a family here you're trying to build a community but let me know what you guys want me to react to i'll definitely make sure i get around to it i mean i'm zoning in on this youtube stuff but right now we're gonna start this in three two one go by the way, these reactions will be like spread out through the week and everything. We're gonna try to go on and get them out of there before the hype dies down and everything. Because that's when, when the hype's up, that's when everybody's like watching my Ruby content. Plus, y'all want to see some Ruby memes and everything? Uh, one of my Ruby memes I did a long time ago did significantly well and everything. And I think I want to do them again. You know what, I guess I stand corrected. There's still a crap ton of grim everywhere. What I've ordered. Mantle. He's gone. You have one hour to respond. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. <gasps> of course he's not going to do it. So what? He's bluffing? With a whole city? It may finally push the kids to see reason. Who cares? What the hell is wrong with Harry? I... Harry, you're starting to make me want to kill you. I need a squad of drones in standby to drop the payload. Sir, what for? I believe I was clear in the broadcast. If they give me a reason, I'm going to remove Mantle from the equation. This is how we save Atlas. You call this saving Atlas? Doing no, Satan's job for this her? This dude has already lost his shit. I believed in you. I thought we could work towards something better. But now you're throwing it all away. 
If you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to do it for you. If this is what gets the children to cooperate, then it's worth it. I don't like this either, but the top priority is... Do you even believe what you're saying anymore? Do any of you believe in anything? I used to wear this rank with pride. Now I see it for what it really is. A collar. I, Ironwood needs to go somewhere. He needs to go Fine. somewhere. Like, I'll throw this not here. Where he belongs. Because this man... Okay, Ironwood wants Penny. Otherwise, Mantle is done for. So, how do we stop him? Crow and Robin are still in his custody. And May said Atlas security drones are watching the crater. So, they're trapped too. And Salem isn't going to stay gone for much longer. So then, it's impossible. See? If Miss Hero with all the answers doesn't have an answer, then we have ours. Shut up. Okay, then why don't you just leave? Can we please just give each other a chance? Emerald's not with Salem anymore. And Ospin is back. <sighs> All of this doubt and worry and distrust, it isn't getting us anywhere. Then nothing has changed! We're in the exact same place we were yesterday! Arguing over what to do while the kingdom waits to die. I'm glad you're all right. Ah, sorry. No matter how much I boost you, they won't go away. Don't apologize. I got hurt doing what I always do. Just another ditzy move from Nora. Th that's not true. How would you know? We were supposed to be a team, but that didn't matter to you. When things went wrong, you pushed us away. You shut people out so you don't have to feel things that are hard. Yee. <sighs> You're right. I should be apologizing. To both of you. When we lost Oscar and things got difficult, I said terrible things. I've been so angry at myself for not being as good as the Aesops, for what happened at Robin's rally, for losing the lamp. I thought if I just focused on working harder, getting stronger, that we, I, wouldn't fail. But my biggest failing was as a teammate and as a partner. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, ha! Uh, oh, water under the bridge, buddy. <laughs> I'm uh gonna go see if Pi needs any. Help. At least John knows how to read the room. And I just wish. I mean, why didn't you say anything? So we failed as a team, but we succeed as a team too. I was the one holding us back. Not John, not you, me. Well, you're wrong. All I do is make dumb jokes and smash things with a hammer. What? That's not true. <sighs> you put everything you have into what you do. You support everyone around you. You help without worrying about how it might hurt. And that's what I love about... Hey. That's why I... I love you. Hey. When my mom ran from the Grimm and left me behind, 
You found me. Y'all telling me that's what happened with Nora? And Nora. Yup. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. But I realized y'all telling me the reason why Nora was how she was just was it because is. something like her parents sacrificed themselves. Her mom just left her. Did all y'all know this? I was I the only one who didn't alone. know this? Because I've always loved you, Lyren. Hey, she hit him with the full name. And that pretty head on your shoulder seems like it's doing a lot better. But I still gotta get mine sorted out before I can be the partner you need. Is that... okay? man reading emotion that emotion whenever he reads emotions that junk is it's cool as hell okay Boop. <laughs> that is such a throwback to early ruby bro you get those hallway cameras on a loop he's really gonna do it not if we stop him first. There might be a better way. I'm telling you, there isn't. Well, this isn't just about you. It's about everyone. I'm going straight up to the Academy, and I am ending this. Or we fail and people get killed. He deserves this! I've gotten real used to Crow's new voice actor. Listen, I get it. You are hurting. You've been hurting for a long time. But let's stop pretending that what you're trying to do here is for anyone but yourself. Clover was a lot of things. You respected him. But I gotta tell ya, I think you're the better huntsman. Not because you were the one who walked away, but because you were the one who was fighting for what was right. Don't go telling me that's changed. <sighs> you know, that giant hound kicked us around like we were nothing. But Blake said you and the Chinese managed to take it down. Still having to one-up your big sis, huh? Did she tell you what it was? Underneath? Yeah. You know what that means, then. I wouldn't worry about that. That's what happened to Mom. <laughs> when I saw its eyes... I knew. Salem used to kill people with silver eyes, like Maria. But she's always wanted me alive. Why would that change unless... When she met Mom, she learned she could do something new. Ruby. We shouldn't lie to ourselves. I wasted our time getting Amity up. Thinking help would come, but it didn't. And Amity fell. I was being childish. You were being optimistic. Look, blind optimism isn't great, but no optimism means we've already lost. We need hope. We need to take risks. But mine didn't work. <sighs> It's still got a warning out. Ruby, they're not called sure things. They're called risks. And in case you didn't notice, my plan for Mantle didn't work either. But we got Oscar back. And did a lot more that was never in the plan. This talk is much needed. 
Mom took a risk the day she left. And I don't think... I don't think it went the way she wanted it to. But she's still my hero. The effects when they cry is crazy good. Like, I'd be feeling really bad. Hurry! I can no longer be delayed. How did y'all let Penny get Penny, out of there? Please! I, I must open the vault! Uh, I, I do not want... Uh, Ruby, stop me! Penny! I must open the vault and self-terminate. Tell me she needs a program to use her maiden powers if she needs to. Open the vault! And self-terminate! Do something! Penny, please! John's aura Tell amplification is you. very, very clutch. Kill me. Kill me. And I can make sure the power goes to you. Please. Please! I cannot fight it! Yes, you can! It's just a part of you, remember? If you were only a machine, you never could have fought back for this long. She's right. She's right! Join! Booster Aura! Well, that was extremely anticlimactic. Did I stop the virus? No. It's still there. But you've got an aura, Penny. A soul. That's who you are. Our friend. Not a machine. I think you're wrong, by the way. I highly doubt you're in the same place you started. I mean, yeah, you, you guys have been getting your asses kicked. <laughs> Some of that. My fault, but like, you're at war. You're gonna take hits. Look, I'm just going to be super pissed if you all finally decide to give up the moment I switch sides. Switch sides, huh? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> or like, whatever. I do like Emerald. I really do. I like her character. I just been wanted her to realize that Cinder mind. is a piece of crap. I really think Ozpen would like to say something. Go ahead. I was recently reminded Time. of an old fairy tale. A young girl flees the consequences of a choice to a magical place. But having never learned from her initial failure, she only succeeds in spreading it. I failed all of you. I should have trusted you with the truth and should never have run the day you discovered it. It was rough, but I think after everything that's happened here, we understand. Trust is... Trust is a risk. They have said risk a number of damn times in this episode. <laughs> and I hope it's a risk you can take on me again. Still feel it fighting me. I can't just keep amping her forever. And we can't keep Ironwood waiting. Ah! Guys, she has to go to the vault.
that's actually a risk we haven't considered. She'll do it. The Academy enters. Ground all. Alright, you guys, so here's what I gotta say about this episode. So, a lot of much needed dialogue between certain characters. Much needed dialogue. Ren and Nora, uh, Yang and Ruby, Crow and uh, Robin, uh, Meryl finally speaking out with what he needed. Ironwood needs to get his ass kicked or something. Like, he needs to go somewhere. Um,. But all those much needed dialects, and the thing is, the reason why I wasn't so shocked about the whole Ruby's mom thing, it's not that I got spoiled, but I thought about it. And when somebody, because when I first had initially saw the human face under the grim and everything, I didn't see the silver eyes. Like, I was not paying attention. I was, I literally did not pay attention to the fact that they had silver eyes at all. And I was scrolling through Twitter one day after the episode that came out, and they literally said, uh, this is a silver eyed warrior. And then there was a whole bunch of people hypothesizing things. So I wasn't surprised. Cause I saw a hypothesis about that, about silver eyed warriors being turned into grim or stuff like that and everything. Now I admit that I didn't really hold much. Like I wasn't really like paying attention to it for real. Cause I was sitting there like, um, she clearly killed them before and it clearly was something that the silver eye warriors were clearly something that she that salem did not want to exist and everything because they stood a direct chance against her and everything like that but what ruby said made sense it made perfect perfect sense why would salem want ruby alive unless sometime around the period of summer rose she found out she could do something different now i do not believe summer rose is a grim or a grim humanoid type person. I don't I don't believe she is. Because I still don't feel like Ruby is the only silver eyed warrior out there. Like I know that they're scarce and everything. But I don't feel like Ruby and Maria are the only ones out there, if I'm being honest. Um The dialogue for Crow and Robin was needed because don't get me wrong. If Ironwood dies, I want it to be Crow or somebody close to Ironwood that does it. It just makes sense. But it is much needed because Crow did need to have a talk. He was not uh, venting or expressing himself. The only person who he felt like he could do that to was Clover. He th he couldn't even feel it. Like, he didn't even feel like he could do that to family and everything because odds are the closer he got, the more his semblance is going to work against him. And family's going to get hurt. But since Clover's semblance kind of counteracts or negates uh, Crow's semblance. And they're like polar opposites and everything. And Clover kind of knows how uh, Crow felt and everything. Crow felt like he could come, uh, come out to him, express himself, all type of stuff like that. Which is part of the reason why they got shipped together and everything. But if I'm being honest, they needed, they needed that dialogue because he needed closure that that's just how it is he needed closure and as far as marrow and everything i'm glad that he stood up for himself the members of the aesops what ren said when they left to go get oscar was true they hide their feelings for each other and it makes it harder for them to work as a true team which is why they lost to team ruby because they cannot work a hundred percent together and everything they deem each other as replaceable which means they never have a hundred percent faith in each other um marrow i feel like is the exception to that because i feel like he wants to but he has to put on this front for the other aesops and i feel like this is just the last straw and everything it went up against his uh moral code and everything so he's like no nah, i can't do this anymore and harriet had to have a thing with clover or she was in love with Clover. Maybe Clover didn't reciprocate it. 
I, I don't know, but Harriet had to have some type of stronger feelings for Clover. I don't know if Clover saved Harriet or something. There's some dynamic between Harriet and Clover that we did not see directly. And that has to be the reason why she's acting. Because it's because of Clover that she's acting like this. That's the real reason why. I mean, we all knew that she was hot-headed to begin with. But it's because it's because of Clover dying that she's acting like this. Like this drastic. Like she don't care if people die. She don't care about this. She's just blindly listening to Ironwood. She needs to get like her crap together. I don't. I don't. De- I don't put her on the same tier as Ironwood when it comes to like people who need to die. But she needs to get her crap together. This episode kind of sets the tone for how the rest, how these last two or three episodes are going to go. And it sets the tone because there's only a few things that could happen. I'm going to see you guys in the next reaction video. I will definitely make sure to put at least or try to upload at least two of these today. And as far as the other two, they'll probably be up tomorrow. And then after that, I will have a free queue of whatever you guys want me to react to and everything. I'll probably find something just in case you guys don't have any suggestions and everything like that. But I feel like this is probably going to be one of the best volumes of Ruby, realistically. But I'll see you guys next time. Again, this is Harbinger. I will make sure to change my name at some point in time today so you guys aren't confused. And I'm out. Peace.